for next. It's an often heard complaint that Britain doesn't build anything anymore, mm. that manufacturing here in the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution is dead. Is that true? Well, in a moment, we'll hear from the BBC's Evan Davies, whose new series claims Britain is still a manufacturing powerhouse. Uh, as for the North West, well, as our economics correspondent Jane Barrett now reports from Burnley, we are, in fact, leading the way. They make bits of aeroplanes here. In fact, it's said there isn't a plane in the world that doesn't have a bit built by one of our many regional aerospace companies, 800 in total. So who said manufacturing was dead? Uh, the misperceptions of manu manufacturing, and particularly in the North West, is that it's an old-fashioned industry. There's also a perception, is there not, that there's no jobs in manufacturing? That, that's uh, an, an absolute fallacy. The, the fact is that there's a, a great career for people in manufacturing and it's growing all the time. You know, the rumour or the story of the decline... That's why the business secretary was in town, beating the drum for manufacturing. Right. You know, we've got to get rid of this myth that, you know, Britain doesn't make things anymore. We do. It's true, manufacturing has taken a beating since Burnley's mills were in action. But if you thought the story of manufacturing in the North West was over you would be wrong. Consider this. A quarter of the jobs here in Burnley are in manufacturing and many of them in advanced manufacturing, real skilled jobs. And some 40,000 people more are employed here in the North West in manufacturing than any other region in the UK. In the last three months, orders were up 36%. Recruitment's expected to rise 23% in the next three months. A few miles away at Vika, John makes windows and door frames. For him, the worst appears to be over. Yeah, we've been told it's good news, good stuff, positive, so yeah. Does that make a difference to you day to day? Yes, personally it does, yeah. Obviously you can come in with a smile, you're not worried about your job. It's great to see that we've got some big hitters in, in the town and that's, that's, that's a good news story, but going forward I think the government could do more. The North West might once again be Britain's manufacturing heartland, but optimism isn't becoming complacency. Jane Barrett, BBC North West Tonight, Burnley. Well, the BBC's Evan Davis uh, joins me now. And, uh, Evan, it's nice for a change to be shining light on what is happening rather than what isn't. It is indeed. In fact, your two-minute report there was really a, a summary of the three-hour television <laughs> series which <laughs> I've spent the best part of a year making. I, I was economics editor for quite a few years at the BBC, and people always said to me, when they weren't asking about house prices, they were saying, how do we survive as a nation given that we don't make anything and we don't sell anything? And... I think it is important, particularly at a, a very grim time, that people do focus on the fact we are a productive nation, we're in the Premier League of World Economies, we're the seventh biggest manufacturer, and we've got loads of industries. And in the, in the, the series, you'll see me visiting uh, BAE Systems outside Preston, flying around in a typhoon, showing that when it comes to top-end engineering, we we can do, you know, as, as well as anybody. So is it because when we see these old mills all being turned into flats and things like that, we just think, actually, manufacturing has gone down the pan, but really it's changed format, hasn't it? It's become smaller and digital, perhaps, it, or different forms. Exactly. Our economy's made an enormous transition. I mean, the basic fact was that a lot of the world caught up with us in what one might call bog-standard industries. There were things that other countries who were paying themselves vastly less than we were, that they learned how to do. So we moved on we had to find other things we could do and we did and so top-end engineering that was one thing we did some high-end services industries that are more about brain that focus on intellectual property like pharmaceuticals built on science research these are all the ways in which our economy has evolved now i don't think that was some mad mistake on the part of our economy it was it, it would have been difficult i think to have tried to compete with china mm. in making t-shirts or suits because they could do that as well as us at a quarter of the price so we moved into things that were much less visible more niche uh, lucrative industries and no one uh, should get stuck in the myth of thinking that the value of what you do can be measured by the sort of the weight of the, the steel involved okay. or the width of the ship. Evan, and it's your programme Made in Britain on BBC Two at nine o'clock tonight. Thank you very much for joining Thanks. us. Or indeed, you could just watch Jane's report again and you don't need to watch minutes. the programme, yes, apparently. <laughs> apparently yes.